Part 1. The Dawn of the Hunt. The cave was their only home, a dark but cozy chamber hidden within a limestone cliff. In the dim light of dawn, a primitive early human couple rested on a thick bed of leaves. The female, her eyes filled with concern, silently watched the male sharpen a stone axe by the cave entrance. The stone struck the grinding rock, creating small sparks and a sharp, brittle sound that signaled a new day had begun. They didn't need complex words to communicate. A gentle stroke of her hair was enough for him to convey reassurance. As the sun began to rise, its first rays filtered through the cave entrance. The male, carrying a crude spear, quietly left. The female stood at the mouth of the cave, watching his figure blend into the ancient forest. With every step, he ventured deeper into a world of untamed wilderness. His eyes constantly darted between the ancient trees, thick bushes, and every rock, searching for signs of life. After a long while, the male primitive early human spotted a wild boar foraging. It was a large, challenging prey. His breath quickened, his body tensed like a drawn bowstring. He crouched low behind a large boulder, waiting for the perfect moment. When the boar came closer, he suddenly lunged forward, his crude spear aimed directly at the target. The battle was fierce. The boar grunted, fighting back viciously. The primitive early human struggled with the animal, sweat beating on his rough skin. His strength met the animal's ferocity. Finally, with a monumental effort, he brought the prey down. Exhausted but triumphant, he rested for a moment beside the fallen boar. Then, he hoisted the heavy carcass onto his shoulder and began the long journey back. His silhouette was framed against the fiery red sunset, an image of vitality and victory. The female primitive early human was waiting for him at the cave entrance. Seeing him return safely with the spoils, she ran to him, her momentary worry replaced by relief and pride. Part 2. Fire and Enduring Bonds Upon returning to the cave, they immediately got to work. He dragged the wild boar inside, and the female primitive early human quickly prepared their tools. They used a sharp stone axe to skin and butcher the animal. His every chop was decisive and powerful, showing his skill in processing. She was in charge of building the fire, carefully gathering dry leaves and small twigs. He used two stones to create the first spark, and the flame quickly erupted, illuminating the entire space. The fire danced on the cave walls, creating a warm and secure atmosphere. Together, they skewered pieces of the boar meat onto sticks, roasting them over the crackling fire. The delicious smell of cooked meat filled the cave. They shared their first meal after a long day, tearing off pieces of the hot meat with their hands. It wasn't just a meal. It was a ritual of survival, the result of courage and unity. Their lives weren't just about hunting and eating. We the next day, they ventured to, to a, a riverbank. The male primitive early human carefully probed the water with a stick, ensuring it was safe for her before she stepped in a drink. By the riverbank, she gathered wild berries and edible roots while he remained vigilant, watching for lurking dangers. Their relationship was expressed through every small action. As they walked along the grassy riverbank, their hands were always intertwined. It was a silent but powerful connection, a symbol of the security they provided for each other. Even when faced with large animals like rhinoceroses or antelopes, he always stood in front, protecting her. The moments they took shelter under a large tree during the rain, or when he gently carved a small wooden figure with his stone tool as she watched, showed the deep affection and bond they shared. Part 3. Challenges and New Hope Life was not always peaceful. A sudden thunderstorm struck, with thunder echoing through the sky, forcing them to huddle together in the cave. In the dark of the night, while the female primitive early human slept, he stood at the cave entrance with his spear in hand, facing strange noises from outside. Danger was a constant presence, and they had to be ever ready. When she suffered a small injury, he comforted and cared for her, applying leaves to the wound to ease the pain. On one occasion, while foraging, they were suddenly attacked by a larger wild animal. 
The male primitive early human stood his ground, using his crude spear to confront the beast, protecting her with all his strength and courage. It was this resilience and bravery that helped them overcome every adversity. Nevertheless, life always pushed them forward. One afternoon, they climbed a high cliff together, looking out at the vast landscape before them. The male primitive early human pointed towards a distant valley where the sunlight shone brightly, gesturing towards a new, unexplored territory. Her eyes lit up with a spark of hope and curiosity. The next day, stronger. they left their familiar cave. We need As they walked, their footprints were left in the damp ground, a testament to their existence and journey. They walked hand in hand, heading towards the rising sun, a symbol of a new beginning, a new generation. They were not just a couple, but representatives of the evolution of an entire species, of a future that was wide open and full of hope.